In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Today we're looking at the third episode of John 6, verse 16 to 21. And we see um, that in their time of need, that when they are far from the shore, the Lord Jesus comes walking on the water to them. Now, St. Cyril of Alexandria points out that often the Lord comes to us not by the shore, not when things begin to be difficult, but when we are at the climax of our fear. And somehow, his very presence changes everything. What was terrifying, he says, becomes joyful. Now, what's beautiful about this passage here in this little excerpt is that, if you remember, the one of the things that they did was they went down to the sea in order to find their familiarity. They had gone to a place and experienced something that was irrational beyond the supernatural. They had they had seen five loaves turn into, uh, you know, food for 5,000 people. And so they descended quickly to the sea to find familiarity, only to find themselves in a storm. The healing that was required for them was to see again, to be restored, to return to the natural law of God, not the natural law of physics. You see, Jesus comes defying the laws of physics, walking on water. He returns them to that place where they are uh, not understanding what's going on where they have to trust, where they have to see that God is not bound by time and space, that God is able to feed 5,000, God is able to heal, God is able to cast out demons, God is able to walk on water. He takes them back to that place of discomfort. Here we even see fear. Their reaction was that they were afraid when they saw him walking on the sea. He's drawing them out again, out of their sense of control, their sense of normalcy. And it's, it's funny because everything that the Lord does is normal and true. Fear is unnatural. Uh, to be bound by the laws of the material world was never what God's plan was for us, for Adam and Eve in the garden. We were to have dominion over nature. That, that seas would obey him is what, what is normal. And so, but because we have been in this state of fallenness for so long, we have forgotten the glory of what it means to be human, to be alive. And so they see the Lord Jesus walking on the water and they are terrified, and rightly so. Here they are striving and then they see someone walking on the water. And here's where the, the, the language really falls short. The English language really falls short. Verse 20 says, but he said to them, it is I, do not be afraid. I really want to focus on this word, it is I. The Greek does not say it is I, the Greek says ego eimi, which means I am. His answer to them was I am. And in saying I am, he was reminding them of who it is that is walking on the water. When he says I am, he is very, very clearly speaking the divine name, speaking the name that was given to Moses. When Moses asked uh, in the burning bush, who do I tell them? The Lord said to him, I am, ego, amy, in, tr in the translation of the Septuagint, I believe they use the same words, ego, amy, I am. And so he, here he reveals himself as the Lord God, creator of heaven and earth, the one who came to Moses in the burning bush, the one who delivered the people of Israel, the one who gave bread in the wilderness, to the people, the manna. Here, this same God is walking on water, coming and delivering 
his disciples. Ego eimi, I am. And in that moment, they are drawn into the very presence of God. For to invoke the name of God, to, to say the name of the great I am, is to invoke his presence. And there he is with them in the boat. And there he is with us in our boat. Glory be to God. Glory be to him who comes, who is the great I am, who defies all natural laws and comes and saves us and delivers us. Have a beautiful day.